Large sections of Eagle Mountain just south of Abilene have been decimated by the hilltop fire that swept across the area from Friday through Sunday. And mm -hmm. today, crews continuing to work on containment, ensuring that that blaze does not reignite after hours of fighting it. And KTAB's Noel McKinney went up the mountain to speak with a resident about his harrowing experience, watching as the fire nearly claimed his home and devastated the land he looks over. He brings us an exclusive look behind the scenes on this intense encounter with nature. Our biggest fear living up here is the fear of fire. You don't know what's going to come of it, which way it's going to go, or who it's going to take. It don't care. This is what came through. It was scary. Eric Emko, or Yank as he's better known, is the ranch manager of the Webb Ranch on Eagle Mountain, 640 acres that he's overseen for the past five years, most all of it charred and lost to Sunday's hilltop fire. You can see right now we lost all of our our grazing land, they, they're gone. His house sits just a few yards from the containment line, and when the flames began to rise, he had an unsettling front row seat. I come from a fire department family for 21 years, seen a lot of fires in my life. This was just unbelievable. The, the flames were going high as that tower. Then the heat from the smoke and everything was just you know, overwhelming. While neighbors evacuated around him, Yank watched as emergency services made their way up the mountain. We were at a smaller fire and we literally saw the plume in the distance and said we need to go find that. Texas A&M Forest Service Public Information Officer Bill Sweeney was early on the scene, but the rough terrain and rapidly spreading flames made approach nearly impossible. When it's burning that hot, a lot of times fire managers won't send engines or crews in if it's too hot or dangerous. So we used air support from initial attack all the way through yesterday. Smaller craft like the Fire Boss planes brought in drop after drop from Kirby Lake as the C-130 LATs or large air tankers made their way in with fire retardant. Sometimes water just isn't enough and you need that retardant to help slow that forward progression. Sweeney and Stuart Morris also of the Forest Service say aerial support and a coordinated response made all the difference between this incident and the Mesquite heat fire. The difference between 10,000 acres. We got fortunate with, with this fire that we had a lot of resources available uh, upon initial attack. The Forest Service estimates 200 acres were lost, and Yank says, thankfully, that's just land. Nobody got hurt. We didn't lose no cattle. We lost some land that can be replaced. The invisible man looked out for everybody. He did it for us. And while that is something to be thankful for, the loss of land will still set them back. We just need some rain. Yeah, right, right. And just like the land, it'll take time for people like Yank to recover from the devastation that hit so very close to home. Other than that, I'm happy. Ain't much else I can say. My dogs are alive and my animals are good. For BigCountryHomePage.com, I'm Noah McKinney. Quite a story. Thank you, Noah. Fire crews from out of state continue to work with local teams to contain the fire line, mopping up the areas that are still flaring up and working toward 100% containment. Not quite there yet. But so close and we're so grateful for all the resources we had available. And just we could all see that smoke for miles and miles and miles. See it, it just, smell it. It was, yeah. it was scary, scary yes, situation. It was.